Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, it's Ross again. Um, here with our fifth vid fifth video. Um, we're gonna decided to just show you a technique that I sometimes use in my in my songwriting and in my covering of other songs as well. You can have a lot of fun with this idea. Um, it's taking an open string chord and moving it up the neck to create different sounds. And like before, what we were talking about with uh, our major sevens and some extensions, the the goal is to achieve some different sounds, you know, some different colours um, that you can apply to your playing. Um, so I've chosen the A chord section of heading home um, to to show you this technique, mainly because it's two bars. There's two bars of A and then it's the G and the D. So there's a lot of room here to, to develop this. Um, I'm going to take our A sus2 shape, okay, the sus2 shape, and I'm going to move it up the neck and we're going to see what kind of different chords we can get. Uh, towards the end of the video I'll throw it back into the song and show you how you can, you can achieve some pretty cool things. Um, just using quite a simple concept. So if we take our A sus2 chord form, I like to voice it with my second and third fingers. Um, but you can you can play it with your first and second as well if you prefer. So I'm gonna take the A sus2 chord and I'm gonna move it up two frets to this position. And we get this lovely chord here. Now what this is doing is Technically, it's very easy. We can shift it straight up two frets, no problem. Harmonically, we're getting a lot of cool things happening though. We're, add, we're getting our F sharp adding in here, which is the sixth of A. We're getting our B, which is the ninth. We're getting the B again. So that double B really creates this nice open sound. And then we're getting our E on top. Okay, so we've got this the kind of A six nine chord. Okay, move that shape up another two frets, and we have our A, our G sharp, which is our major seventh, our C sharp, which is our third, B, which is the ninth again, and then, as you can hear, another lovely version just taking a simple concept the a sus2 so a sus2 up two frets then an a with a six and a nine in there and then a lovely a major nine chord we can take it further so we've got an a we've then got the d which we can we can treat as a kind of suspended fourth up another two frets. Look at this lovely. Again, you've got that B, the ninth, which again is mirrored in our open string. We've got the fifth, the E. You know, that's lovely actually because you've got your B and your E, and you've got exactly the same two notes open. So if we take it from the beginning again. A sus2, adding in a 6 and a 9, lovely A major 9 chord, more of a suspension with the D, and then here, kind of added 9 sound, keep going even further, another 2 frets, so we're on the 11th fret now, We've got a C sharp, there's our third. Yeah. F sharp again there as well. And again, the common theme of these two lovely open strings. So I'll just play it from the beginning again. Just one fret here. Two, two. And we can finish off with two more. Ooh. Quite a strange one that. And 
then back to where we started. 14th fret equals the same as our second fret. So think of it in fret numbers as a good way to remember it. Up two, up two, up one, up two, up two, up two. Controversial one maybe. Now, it's how we use these shapes that's really going to, you know, add something to our, our song. So, instead of strumming just an A sus2 to our G, to our D, we can try some different combinations. So let's not go mad first, let's maybe just use our first, our first chord here that we moved up two frets for. So, we've got our A sus2. So that's adding some colour. And also a wee bit of movement like we were talking about in the last video. Let's go a wee bit further. to stay on our A sus2, we don't have to start there, we can start on any one of them. Okay, so let's start on that A major 9. And this time we'll go up a wee bit further up and you'll see me coming back to the G and the D when I need to. So we've just two bars, be careful you don't get too carried away with jumping up and around your voicings, always make sure you're bringing that G and that D back in in the right place. So here we go. Pretty cool results with that technique, I think. Um, also, pay, play, uh, pay close attention to the strumming. We talked about the strumming in video three. When you can start to combine these techniques, you can really start to achieve some great results. For example, you may have noticed that I was using our main strumming pattern, but then to add a wee bit of excitement, going back to that template, which was just down, up, down, up. Um, but I'll talk about that in some later videos. Uh, for now, just have some fun moving open chord shapes up the neck. Remember, you don't have to just do it with an ASUS2. Try a C chord. See what results you can get just by moving that about. Try an E chord. You might get some nasty ones. Not particularly nice. Uh, have some fun. Explore. And... Uh, Hope you come up with some, some good ideas.